This is Greg Kulowick with EdTech Teacher, and this is your GarageBand video tutorial. So once you begin GarageBand, in the top right hand corner, corner you have the option to click on Podcast. Once you click on Podcast, you'll be able to name your new podcast that you're creating in GarageBand. You can see here, I'll name this the EdTech Teacher Test Podcast. You can pick where you'd like to save your podcast. We'll just save it in GarageBand and click Create. GarageBand will create a new podcast file for you. By default, GarageBand will make a podcast track, which is the basic track. It'll give you a male voice, a female voice, and a jingles track. The middle area here is your workspace where you'll be dragging all your audio content. Off to the right, if you have the audio tab clicked off, you can see that you can grab an audio from a number of places. For example, I have three audio clips I've already saved in iTunes, clip one, clip two, and clip three. All I have to do is simply grab those clips from my iTunes and drag them into my GarageBand podcast track. There's track number one, and simply by clicking and dragging, I can move that audio track back and forth within the vocal track of my new podcast. I can click and drag clip number two, and then click and adjust it and move it where I'd like it to be in this podcast. And finally, here's clip three. I can drag and drop that in as well. Now down to the left-hand corner here, you can see there's a tiny cursor. This comes in quite handy when you're managing a lot of different audio files. If I move it back to the left, you can see I zoom out. If I move to the right, I zoom in. So I'll zoom out a little bit, and that'll make it easier for me to adjust and move around my three audio files. So here are the three files. And the next step is to add some background music and sound effects to my podcast. So now it's time to add some music and background sound effects. In the bottom right hand corner of GarageBand, you can see you have three buttons. Click on the middle I button for information. And this is where you get information about the podcast track itself. You have a number of different ways to filter the audio. If I choose podcasting, I can choose no effect, female narrator. I'll choose male narr narrator because it's my voice. Then scroll down and click on the little I button and that'll give you a choice of a number of tools. If you click on the podcast option above in the top right, you get a number of basic podcasting sound effect, op sound effect options, all types of various background music. There will be jingles, sound effects, Foley effects. And there's some basic background music. It'll give you the length of each piece so you can adjust it to what you need. I'll choose. I'll choose a shorter version and just simply drag it into the jingle track on my podcast. Now that I like where it is, you notice it's a bit too long. If I click on this track, it will end up being highlighted dark blue. So let me adjust my audio tracks back a bit. And then I'll click on my track and it's highlighted blue. But that track's too long, so I need to edit it. If you go to the top menu under Edit and scroll down to Split, and that will allow you to split the track right where the red cursor bar is. I can then highlight the right bit of it, click Edit, and then Cut, and that little bit of audio is now gone. I can drag my voice track back to the left, drag my clip 2 over, and drag my clip 3 over until I like the structure of my podcast. Now if you notice here, along the jingles, the bottom blue button is lit up. What that indicates is when the voice track above, which is highlighted yellow, comes in, the jingle track will automatically cut out slightly. Let's give it a listen. So now we have some intro music, and we have our three voice tracks set up. 
let's pick some more music to round out the podcast. I'll find a longer audio track and lay it underneath my voice tracks again. If I just slide my voice tracks over, what will happen is that blue audio below my voice tracks, because the blue button was clicked off to the left, it will automatically subtly get a little bit quieter while the voice tracks are in effect. I'm just going to simply split the end and cut the end of that audio track off like we did before. That's edit, split, and then edit, cut. Now let's give it a listen. This is just test audio clip number one for a GarageBand audio tutorial. This is the midway audio clip for the EdTech Teacher GarageBand tutorial. This is the final audio clip for the EdTech Teacher GarageBand tutorial. Now you should have a solid understanding of how to use GarageBand to make a podcast for you and your students. So besides pulling in audio, as we see here with the three audio clips I used earlier, you can also record audio directly in GarageBand. So if you don't have an external um, tool to create your MP3 files, you can create them directly within the program. It's as simple as clicking on the bottom of the page. Down here we have our record button. Get your cursor set up where you want to start recording. I'll start recording out here. I'll simply click record and I'll begin the process. Here's test audio being created by recording directly in GarageBand. When you're done, just click the red button again, hit the space bar to stop the cursor from moving, and there's our new test audio. Here I'll add it to the end of the podcast. I'll bring in some music for the exit. And let's go back and give it a listen. Here's test audio being created by recording directly in GarageBand. When you're done, just click the red button. And there you have it. We've pulled in actual audio from the beginning, as you can see with these three clips. We've edited in some music below it. We've cut and split those tracks to make our editing a bit cleaner. We've recorded live and we've added some exit music. The next step is how to export your podcast to iTunes. All right, so now that we're finished with all of the audio, now we need to share it. So if you scroll to the top of iTunes and click on share, you'll have a number of different options. The simplest option is to click on share and send to iTunes. When you send your podcast to iTunes, GarageBand will do the rest. First thing you have to do is pick the playlist. I'll make up an EdTech Teacher test playlist. I'll make myself the author, the composer, and the album title will be EdTech Teacher. As soon as I click Share, GarageBand will create a mix down of this file and export it directly into your computer's iTunes account. Depending on the length of your podcast will determine how long it takes to create this mix down and the export process. As soon as it's done, your iTunes account will automatically open up and you can start listening to the podcast. If you notice on the left, under my playlists, we have a new playlist called the EdTech Teacher Playlist. Within that playlist is the test podcast that we just created. Now what I like to do is drag this podcast from iTunes onto my desktop, and then I can share that MP3 file with any student. I can drag it onto their flash drive, I can burn it onto a DVD or a CD for them, or I can even sync it to their iPod. So there I've just dragged it to my desktop, and you can see, in a few short steps, I've created a podcast that now I can share with any student that I'd like.